Congressman Bill Schuster, who chairs the House Transportation Committee. Congressman, welcome to the program. Good to have you with us. Thanks for having me, Stuart. Is this a money problem? If we chucked money at Amtrak, would we solve the Amtrak problem? Uh, no, and what Nancy Pelosi said about Amtrak is absolutely wrong. Uh, in fact, uh, they were working towards putting PTC on, and they had a, some technological problems. But uh, PTC, from my understanding, from talking to Amtrak, it'll be up and running by the. It was on track to be up and running by the end of the year. So this idea that money was the problem is absolutely false. Uh, what we have here, and today we're going to be at our hearing, uh, hearing from the FRA administrator, from the CEO of Amtrak, and from the NTSB, is uh, what, we're getting some answers on what, where this investigation is going. So far, they have not. Uh, said anything about the equipment and they're, and they're looking at the operators. So we need to find answers and then, and then act, Congress needs to act accordingly. But is, is it a problem? Amtrak has a problem. Is, the, is that problem that it's run essentially by the government? Uh, uh, what I'm getting at is, can you ever expect Amtrak to be run efficiently and profitably? Some way can you reorganize it to make it efficient and profitable operation? Can you ever do that? Well, what I believe is we can reform Amtrak, and in fact, a couple months ago in March, uh, we passed a bill in the House that has significant reforms to Amtrak, focusing on the Northeast Corridor, which is the only profitable line in Amtrak's uh, uh, inventory, uh, focusing the, those profitable dollars back into the Northeast Corridor to make those investments, and then look at these other lines across the country as business units and see how much they're losing money, and, and like a business, like a real business would do, focus on restructuring them doing what they have to do uh, to get them to where they're not losing as much money and getting to maybe break even. Uh, I believe we need passenger rail in this country. The Northeast Quarter, it's essential. 19% of the population on 2% of the land mass. Uh, we've got to do better in the Northeast Corridor, and we can. Could we privatize, not, not maybe the Northeastern Corridor, that's profitable, but all the other lines? Couldn't we just sell them off to private enterprise and see if they can make a go of it? I mean, that's what I they did in Britain, you know. Uh, well, I think that, well, they, they, they sold off the operations, actually. They kept the infrastructure in most cases. Yep. I think that's something we have to look at. And that's why, it, with our reform bill, we're finally separating out the different business units so we can actually see what they have, what their assets, what their liabilities are, what their income statements really look at, profit and loss. And I think we need to do that before the private sector will even consider looking at some of these other lines. You see, many of our viewers really have a problem with this administration, which is all government all the time. In the name of fairness, we keep on introducing government programs and government uh, supervision of, of just about everything. Can we get away from that? I mean, really get away from it. Reverse course. Go for smaller government, less intrusion into the ho into many sectors of our society. I'm sure that's the way you want to go, Congressman, but do you really Absolutely. think you can do it? We've never been able to do it in the past. Absolutely, I think we can, and I think you stay tuned for the coming months. Uh, we're doing an FAA reauthorization. And we're going to do something very different. Than it's been talked about for 20 years, but I think we're finally at a point where we can do something different, where we can take the air traffic control organization out of government, turn it into a, a not-for-profit corporation, similar to what the, the Canadians have done, similar to what the Germans and, and the Brits have done, take it out, and, and it can operate uh, in a much more efficient way and continue to maintain the high levels of safety that we have today. So stay tuned in the next coming months. You're going to see this coming out of our committee on FAA reauthorization. Congressman Schuster, come back again soon and tell us uh, about your progress. We'd like to hear. Thanks a lot, Stuart. Yes, sir.